the, the FTC recently sent out a warning letter to multi-level marketing companies about deceptive income claims. I think they listed over 700 MLMs operating in the U.S. Oh, wow. on their list. Amazing. There are probably more. So, so this is a pervasive, ubiquitous force that is operating quietly, invisibly, so to speak, on Main Street. Politicians are not paying attention to it, yeah, not. which is amazing to me because it is shaping people's values. It's telling them about what to think of the government, tells them who to I vote know. for. I think it's shameful, Robert, actually, again, as a lobbyist, I remember someone had a bill a couple of years ago. There's an entity called the Direct Selling Association, which sounds nice, um, and it sounds fair, and it sounds kind of chamber of commerce -y, right? Direct Selling Association. Um, but most of them are Herbalife, Beachbody, Amway. It's nothing but freaking pyramid schemes. And so someone had a bill to try and, you know, say, hey, people should be educated about how, you know, the how the money flows. And they brought all of these bots to the Capitol, um, Herbalife and Beachbody and Amway. And you 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 mentioned it, you know, it it, it looked like a catalog because they all had kind of this very, very similar look. They all had their little golf shirts with a little emblem on the on the chest. And they were just rabid the direct selling association so you know i think that they have pretty much at least the people at the top but i was amazed by the rabidness by which they um went after a very very small bill which tried to just say hey maybe people should be educated about these multi-level marketing schemes hey if you like what you hear like and subscribe it really means a lot and we would love to have you coming back every week thank you